What's up everyone? Today's video is all about pre-made decks in Anki and how to use them effectively. I am the biggest advocate of Anki, as you already know, I use it a lot. In fact, one of the biggest pieces of feedback that I got during my psychiatry clerkship was the fact that I knew way more than they expected a student my age to know. And the reason for that is because I do Anki just so hardcore that I just knew a lot of stuff, like in general. Uh, and so I'm a big advocate of this approach. And today I'm going to show you how I use it. And hopefully it helps you because I really, really think everyone should know how to use it well. So today Today, pre-made decks. Let's get to it. So I'm going to assume you guys don't know much yet. So what you're going to want to do is if you click the link below for the Zonky deck, you're going to be redirected here. I want to, I want you to go down and click on this path, physiology and pathology link. There's also a Zonky for pharmacology, but we'll leave that for a separate video. So if you click this, go here and then press download, you'll eventually start downloading the Zonky deck. So go ahead and do that. The second thing is I also want you to download the hierarchical tags. Uh, you need to make sure that you have Anki, what version of Anki you have. If you have an Anki 2.1, this is the version of hierarchical tags. If you have Anki 2.0, there's another link, which I will also link below. But the point is, um, based on what level, what version of Anki you have, you're going to need to download this. In Anki, the way you add the add-on is you go to Tools at the top, you go down to Add-ons, um, and then you click Get Add-ons, and you copy and paste the code. And after that, it'll say downloaded this thing. Now all you're going to need to do is changes will take effect when Anki is restarted. So you actually have to exit out um, and then exit log back in. Um, when you log back in, you also want to make sure you have the Zonki deck. So once the Zonki deck is completely done downloading, click on that Zonki deck. Great. So now that you've downloaded those two things, the thing you should have when you open up your Anki is you should have the Zonki step deck shown right here. The other thing that you've noticed that I have in my Anki is my main master deck. So I always keep my Zonki, all these pre-made decks, I keep them separate from my main master deck, which is where I usually take the cards from the pre-made decks and add them. So this is my main master deck. And let's say we were just in cardiology week one. I've shown you guys how I've made my master decks before. If you don't know, click up there and watch the video of how I organized my main master deck but the point is this is usually how I organize it so now I actually want to show you how I go ahead and use this pre-made deck this zonky step deck and add cards to my main deck and I do it in a very distinct way there's three steps the first step is I find relevant cards the second step is I annotate those relevant cards and tag them appropriately. And then the third step is I move those cards over from the Zonky step deck or any pre-made deck to my main master deck. Those are the three simple steps. If you follow that with every card you move over, you will have a foolproof master deck. And right now I do have a foolproof master deck. It has over 10,000 cards and every day I do a decent amount of them. Now let's go through each one of these steps one by one by showing you how I would actually go about it if I had a lecture. Uh, and I was adding cards from this pre-made deck to my master deck based on what I was learning in a lecture. So let's do that. Now you'll see that I have my lecture pulled up on the right and my Anki pulled up on the left. The first thing I like to do is anytime I'm in a lecture, sometimes I come across a word that I seem, that sounds a bit suspicious, contractility. I've heard that a lot before. It seems like something that might be important for step. So how do I know if it is important? Well, I always look up terms that I find in lectures within my Zonky step deck. I always look it up in this pre-made deck because if there's a card in this pre-made deck about this concept called contractility, then contractility, first of all, is important enough because it's going to be tested on the USMLE. And second of all, that tells me that, oh, I should use those cards. If I ever look up a word that's not in my Zonky deck, I usually know that it's not high yield enough to be in the step deck. So I usually don't put that much attention to it. But if it is in my Zonky step deck, I will pay attention to it. I will tag it appropriately, as I said before, and then I'll move it to my main master deck. So now let's actually see if there's anything about contractility, because that actually seems like a pretty interesting word that there might be some stuff about. So if I want to search my Zonky step deck, first of all, you have to go to browse. And then within browse, you have to click Zonky Step Deck. These are all the cards in the Zonky Step Deck. There's 17,000 of them. Within those, let's say I wanted to find all the words that include the word contractility. You just type contractility in, and now there's 37 cards. You'll see that 37 cards within the Zonky Step Deck have the word contractility. Now, I actually want to see which one of these is relevant. So I think this first one is actually relevant. It says a negative ionotropic effect decreases contractility. It actually is right here. Negative ionotropes decrease contractility. Okay, so I usually like to go through a lot of these and I can tell that this is already really important and these are all things I would need to know. However, 
I now need to put more information on these cards. I don't like having just a card that just says this because I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? So I usually like taking screenshots. So I usually press Command, Control, Shift, 4, which is one of the tips you guys gave me. On Mac, when I press that, it actually allows me to copy this and paste it in the extra column. I do that for all the cards that I want to move over. So it seems like this one's also pretty relevant. This one also is pretty relevant, and it has all this supplemental information that I'm putting in right now. Um, it seems like this one might also be relatively relevant. Um, ooh, see, I think the catecholamines might be in here. Yeah, ag agonist right here. Okay, so I can already tell like some of these are really good. So I'm going to just add this supplementary thing to all of them. And when I add all of these in, now I know that I have these cards. So if I click on all of these, I, I selected the nine cards that I just annotated. And I know that these cards are relevant enough for me to know. And the good part is I didn't have to make any of them. They're already in this deck and they're probably really valuable for step. So the next step was I added my supplemental information. Now I have to tag these cards. How do I want to tag these cards? This is also something you all need to learn. So Zonkey doesn't actually have good tagging. Zonkey has horrible, horrible tagging. And this is why the hierarchical tag system comes in handy. So the first thing you want to do is for all of those eight cards, you select all of them by pressing shift. You go to control and then you type in add tags. And the tags that you want to add, this is where the hierarchical tag system comes in. You want to do, first of all, you want to tag it by the same way it's in the deck. So I want to do zonkey underscore step underscore decks. And then I want to put two colons because this is how the hierarchical tag works. And then I want to do hashtag zonkey underscore cardiology under, and then another two hashtag and then do hashtag cardiac underscore physiology. So this is going to tag all of these cards appropriately. I'd be wondering, what does that mean? What I'm, what that means is I just created a tag, which shows up here that includes all three of these cards and they're they're tagged in the sense that they're under zonkey step decks, they're under zonkey cardiology and they're in cardiac physiology. Now let's say I came across something else that was cardiac pathology. I could then have another subsection within my zonkey cardiology tag that was cardiac pathology. And I'll show you this in my real zonkey and um, it'll tell you a bit more about how all of this works. But the point is now that I've tagged all of these cards, I can actually move these cards because notice how right now it says they're in the zonkey step deck. I want to move these cards to my deck. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go click um, change deck. And I'm going to move it over to cardiology week one, because that's where my lecture was. My lecture was in cardiology week one. So I've moved it over from the pre-made deck to my main deck. And now within my main deck, within my main deck now, I have those nine cards that I just brought over with the annotated stuff in them. So hopefully this gives you guys an idea into how I use pre-made decks, how I annotate the pre-made deck cards. Sometimes I annotate pre-made decks with images I find online. Sometimes I'm watching a video and I'm like, wow, that is a real cool way to explain contractility. And I'll take a screenshot of the image and add that to my card. But the point is all of my cards have this level of detail. So that's how I use pre-made decks. I am now gonna shift over to my personal deck and show you a little bit about how I use that and how my cards actually do reflect what I just showed you and how hierarchical tagging works. So that way you guys know that once you start doing this, you know, 10,000 cards down the line, this is what your Anki will likely look like and this is how great it could be. So let's go there now. Okay, so this is my Anki. This is the main deck that I use every day and I'm always adding cards to this deck. Today I just wanna show you that the cards that I add follow that same format that I just showed you guys, which is the fact that every card I add, I will first supplement with information, I will then tag appropriately, and then I will move it over to this deck, which is the one legend deck. Whatever I'm moving it over from, whether that's Zonkey, Lightyear, whatever. Today we talked about Zonkey, but I sometimes move cards over from other pre-made decks that I use, uh, which we can talk more about. But the point is, let's say we study now. So this is a Zonkey card. And you're going to see that the answer here is overflow. But notice how already there's a supplemental resource here that talks about the understanding of overflow and continence. So even when I see this card, I can always supplement my previous existing knowledge with whatever that's here. So that way I have a full picture of what exactly overflow and continence is. Overflow and continence is when the detrusor muscle around the bladder is not contracting well enough and therefore um, urine builds up in the bladder and so you always have an overflow of urine in the bladder and you sometimes always have to go to the bathroom because uh, your bladder feels full all the time. That's the point. But the point is everything to know this card is right here. But now if you want to look at this card and you want to make sure that I tagged it, you'll see that whenever I move a card over, let's see, 
I you notice how I always tagged it with a hashtag zonky deck, hashtag reproductive, hashtag reproductive anatomy. This is under the reproductive anatomy tag. So now if I ever wanted to study this again, I know that it's in this specific tag, so I can go to that tag and actually study just that part if I ever wanted to. I usually don't ever do that. This is just for organization's sake. Like for example, let's say I wanted to study just the cards that were tagged with this. I can actually go back to my main deck, go to my one legend deck. Now I can press custom study. And by custom study, I do study card by state or tag. I want to do a thousand. I want to do all cards in random order, cram mode. And the tags that I want to pick are going to be hashtag zonky, right? I think it was hashtag zonky. So now look. So if we go to hashtag zonky, there's hashtag reproductive, and then there's reproductive pathology, pharmacology, and anatomy. So that's the co that's, those are the tags that I want. So I want to create a custom study session that has only this tag of reproductive anatomy, which would be really useful if I was, in, if I was like scrubbing into urology or if I was studying urology. If I press, press that and now I press OK, it's going to create a deck just with the tags that have reproductive anatomy in them. And so now when I do that, you'll see that there's 22 cards here and there's four reviews. So now if I do this, it has everything that we just went through. And the good part about it is now, because of the tagging, I have this one main master deck that allows me to study specific things during the moments I want to study those specific things if I ever want to do that. That's going to be really helpful for me when it comes time to study for step, when it comes time to study for specific things. But for right now, because I have this big deck, you always want to make sure you have that level of organization in there. And that's what the hierarchical tag allows you to do. So hopefully that gave you guys an insight into just how I use the zonky deck, how I always tag, how I always add, look at here. So I always add diagrams. I always want to make sure that there's enough um, information to support whatever it is that I'm looking at. I never like having a card that just has one line across. I need to have images. I need to have enough context that if I was looking at the card for the first time and didn't know anything about the pedendal nerve or the sensory innervation, the information below will help supplement that for me. So now you know how I use it in practice. Hopefully this guys this helps you guys and it also shows you how to use Zonky. I highly recommend using Zonky. I've been using it since pretty much a year ago at this point and it's amazing. So this will give you an insight into how to use it well and uh, Aside from that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.